Hey boys and girls, I have a same rep. Have you ever watched an anime that made you cry? If you haven't, you should try to watch Ishida to Asakura. Uh, it's kind of like cutting 10 onions uh, in one go. And um, it kind of takes around the same time as watching the anime anyway. So yeah, you can go for it. And if, that's the, if that doesn't make any sense to you, well, <laughs> neither did it to me. But uh, here we are anyways. It's really uh, an interesting anime because it kind of ticks all the boxes of what you want in an anime. I mean, mechas... You want that anime? Yeah, we got it. You want a high school anime slice of life? Yep. It's it's also that. Um, does it have violence? Oh yes, it does have violence. Comedy? Yes. Um, well, it tries to. Um, does it have jiggles? Oh yes. Uh, does it have uh, traps? Yes, it does. Does it have maids? Yes, yes, it does have maids. Yes, we can get that for you. Cross-dressing? Oh yes. Yes, we have some of that as well. Do we have uh, girls that look like they're way too young but aren't? Mm, yep, yeah, probably we got those as well. Um, Answer, yes, we got those. Nudity or partial nudity? Oh, hell yes, we got that as well. And you might wonder, how the hell can you fit all of this into, like, 10 episodes or so of two-minute anime plus an, an intro song every time? Yeah, I don't know either, but they managed it. Uh, and despite managing all of that, it's uh, still surprisingly bad. Uh, it's like, eh, yeah, we, we took all the good things and shoved it into one, and then it was... Uh, Still kind of bad, as if you took uh, some really good uh, meat and some really good bread and then just decided that, you know what, everything that tastes good together goes well together. Those two things, that sounds like a good sandwich. But then you're like, ah, you know what, jam? Jam is pretty good. Let's smash some jam on there. Peanut butter goes well with jam, so let's uh, let's get some peanut butter. Uh, Vegemite, there's some people who like that. Put that on as well. Licorice is pretty good as well. Add that. Mm, yeah, that's good. Uh, I heard that fish is really good. Yeah, fucking smack that in there and just keep adding like every time somebody is like oh i like sriracha sauce and then you just fucking spray that on there and at the end you probably have something really gross and that's kind of what this is so if that hasn't scared you already well um welcome to the review of uh, ishida to asakura so this anime uh, let's just start uh, by introducing it uh, by the characters because this is really an anime that basically just follows the characters and that's it. There's no really overarching plot. Uh, the main plot of uh, Ishida to Asakura is that we have uh, three characters. We have uh, Asakura, that is our um, popular kid in school. He has a natural perm and uh, is thus quite normally popular, right? That, that goes without saying. Uh, he also looks way older than he should and loves boobs. Uh, his dream is to become a teacher at a high school of only girls, so an only girls high school teacher, so that he can be surrounded by a uh, massive plot all the time. Um, and that's, that's his dream, and he is pursuing that to the best of his abilities, which are more or less non-existent. Uh, he manages to write boobs quite a lot, uh, but that's about it. Though fret not, his future is not ruined because he has friends such as Ishi <laughs> such as Ishida, uh, and Ishida uh, is um, is very passionate about a flower shop. His his dream in life is to open a flower shop with Asakura, so that they can live happily and run this flower shop. And that's it. That's what he wants. There is, however, his most evil rival Yamada who, oh, you should be scared about Yamada, because he has such evil and vile plans as to open a bookshop with Asakura. Yes, that is the main plot. It is whether Asakura should join Ishida in making a, a flower shop, or if he should join Yamada and open a library shop, or a library, a bookshop. That's, that's the conflict we have in this uh, anime, and it's intense. I mean, the amount of violence that you see in this anime is uh, borderline grotesque. Yamada's, the easiest way to introduce Yamada is that he gets killed multiple times in odd manners. You, if you can think of it in anime, it's probably happened to him. Like, what, can't, what, what way can't he die? I mean, get an eraser flick through his skull? Yeah, that's... That's something that he's definitely done. Um, did he also just get suffocated in another man's ass? Yeah, he got stuck real good up there. And uh, yes, he did die from that. But luckily, luckily, it's not like he just dies and then comes back. Oh, wait, it is. 
he's he's actually just Kenny from from South Park. He just keeps getting up and getting back in there, and that's more or less what Yamada does. He even he's so evil that even his own creations consider him evil enough to be killed. I don't know how you get that evil. That even if you manage to build a mecha, then that it still wants to kill you. I mean, this seems like you should have programmed it differently, or he's just actually evil enough to program it in and he, then he knows he's evil enough to the point where he actually adds into the program that he is evil but in that case he's just really really evil but with no good plan at all but i guess if you dedicate your entire life to opening a bookshop it is um well yeah So let's delve a little bit deeper. Of course, there are more characters. We're in a high school, so of course there are teachers. Now, the teachers can generally be defined out of one feature and one feature alone, even though there are two teachers, and that is their crutch. So what they pack downstairs is really enough to actually tell you everything you need to know about the teacher. Uh, one is, um, well, he is Mr. Talk with his crutch. The app, he speaks with that somehow. Don't question it. And the other one is uh, probably even more important for the plot, and that is uh, Mr. slash Mrs. Um, Trunk. Yeah, I'll leave that to your own imagination. There are some other side characters, of course, also. Uh, those side characters include uh, characters such as uh, Yamada's sister, which is introduced for like an episode or so. Um, there is also big tit girl in the back of the class who is there yeah they don't really serve any point in the plot i mean there is no real plot so it's kind of difficult for side side characters to actually have an influence but they're there for a good laugh just kind of like the rest of the anime but if you are going to watch it and you found this uh, review kind of enjoyable then you probably have to shit taste as me and what you should do is you should go to the toilet pull down your pants prepare to unleash your message douche into the toilet then watch Ishida to Asakura on your phone and when you're finished taking a shit you'll probably also be finished watching a shit and you've completed two shits in one strike so that's great um, that is by far the most appropriate time and place to watch it I would say uh, if you're a really fast shitter you can probably split it and you just watch like the first five episodes and then next five next time you go to the toilet you don't have to bring a manga then it's an easy solution. You can actually just watch an entire anime. That being said, um, I hope you don't... I mean, I hope you jump into this rabbit hole, but uh, man, there is uh, there is some other really bad short anime out there. And uh, yeah, next time I'll be talking about an anime called Double J. So um, yeah, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, probably you'll enjoy the next one as well, which is arguably worse. <laughs>